Hello, my name is Gikon, I'm the Ansai Zee Hornbill TV. Naglen Laga Rajya Sabha member, KG Kenya Bra 73rd Republic Day celebration di mabode mana homoi, Hornbill TV logo ot kotha kura homoi koshi ki, December 4 laga Oding Diru Embush Monde hua laga SIT findings, aro forensic reports kando, public logo transparent hobo lage koshi. Idea idu sawo. To Hornbill TV, so uh, can you please uh, tell us a little bit on your take on the repeal of AFSPA? How long do you think it's going to take uh, in Nagaland? Well, as you know, the SIT has been constituted, and we are still awaiting the report of that team. A lot depends on how they submit their reports. Yeah. Do you think it's going to it's taking some time since uh, the ultimatum was yesterday after again another 10 days was given and that ended yesterday now uh, should it be made public to the citizens of Nagaland or uh, because they do want to know exactly what the truth is behind the ambush that happened well transparency must be maintained at all costs and the uh, people deserves to know what actually transpired on the 4th and 5th of December last year. So it will be most appropriate for the government to uh, table the report openly. To the public, sir, is that what? Certainly, certainly to the public, yeah. And so the uh, Amit Shah's uh, statements in Parliament right after the ambush, uh, do you think that was justifiable on, justifiable on his part, that uh, he said it was a mistaken identity I would not uh, subscribe to the description of any person, whatever standing he may be of, because the state investigation team is yet to submit the authentic report, and that should be the official version and the report, and my interpretation or any other person's interpretation should not be accepted as the report. Mm. Sir, on a totally different tangent, uh, the Manipur elections. Uh, sir, would you say that uh, the NPF and the BJP are again going to be collision partners in this upcoming elections in Manipur? Things are very vague, but I think I'll stop short of making my comments there. <laughs> that was KG Kenya, member of Raja Sabha and the lone NPF uh, member of parliament from Nagaland, uh, giving his input about the Oting incident that happened on December 4th, as well as about AFSPA. And this was also the 73rd Republic Day celebrations in Dimapur, where Niba Kruno was the chief guest. We also had uh, Tovi Oto IME and as well as KG Kenya, member of parliament, uh, present at the 73rd Republic Day celebrations and he gave us an input about all the development projects that the government has taken up in the past year. So that was today's 73rd Republic Day celebrations in Dimapur. Reporter Esther with camera person Seye signing out for Hornbill TV.